Welcome to Open Box Education. In this video, I am going to explain about Hadamard Transform. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and share to your friends. So here it is the photograph of Hadamard. His full name is Jacques Salomon Hadamard. He born in 8th December 1865 in France and he passed away in the year of 1963, 17th of October. So he introduced this Hadamard transform. So the Hadamard transform is basically same as the Walsh transform except the rows of the transform matrix are reordered. So that is the difference between that Walsh transform and that Hadamard transform. So the elements are mutually orthogonal basis vectors of a Hadamard transform are either plus one or minus one which results in very low computational complexity in the calculation of the transform coefficients. So Hadamard matrices are easily constructed for n equal to 2 to the power of n by the following procedure. So for the order n equal to 2 the Hadamard matrix is given as h2 equal to in the form of matrix as 1 1 1 minus 1 as a matrix elements. So when you are going for the higher order Hadamard matrix then the Hadamard matrix of order 2n can be generated by the Kronecker product operation as h2n equal to hn 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 minus hn as a matrix elements. So in the place of n if you substitute n equal to 2 then we will get that so 2 into n there is nothing but 2 into 2 here you will get that 4 so h4 equal to you will get the matrix as uh, h2 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 minus h2 as a matrix elements already we know that the Hadamard matrix for h2 is given 1 1 1 minus 1 so that from this one you will get that h2 here we get 1 1 1 minus 1 and here also h2 so here we got that h2 matrix and here we will get that h2 matrix and here we have that h2 matrix and here this is the minus h2 so minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 and here we have 1 so this is the Hadamard matrix for the order n equal to 2 if you substitute n equal to 4 then you will get that Hadamard matrix h8 as h4 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 minus h4 so if you divide this one into the four parts so here you will get this like this so here this represents that h4 and this represents the h4 and this represents the h4 and this is the minus h4 so this is the representation of Hadamard matrix so thank you very much for watching this video to watch more videos please subscribe to my channel open box education